including then 48-year-old Emilio Campos Oliveira, a resident who says he's been burned on his thigh by the light. They came to see me. They photographed where I was hit. The only ones who saw my mark were people from the Air Force. They saw the mark. The sightings continue throughout the next four months. Captain Holanda's team is busy collecting information from witnesses and town officials. Their surveillance equipment is in use 24 hours a day. But the Air Force does not release their findings to the public. Those who think that Operation Saucer will help determine the truth are disappointed. Instead, some believe a cover-up has already begun. By October 1977, the strange occurrences on the island of Calaris have caused the Brazilian Air Force to investigate. Residents claim that UFOs have attacked them with powerful beams of light. Some people develop strange burn marks on their skin after the encounters. Two women have even died. The Air Force's project, Operation Saucer, under the leadership of Captain Yurange Holanda, is gathering information on the mysterious sightings. The military did not take weapons to Kolaris. Their weapons were cameras. Lots of cameras. Over a four-month period, Holanda and his team take photos and make sketches. These are their actual drawings. They also conduct interviews with the residents, including Dr. Valide Carvalho. She has treated dozens of patients who claim they have been attacked. Initially, the doctor is skeptical about their stories, but soon she experiences a UFO sighting herself. It is around six o'clock. Carvalho is returning home from her shift at the local health care unit and sees a woman faint. I looked up and that which I had denied, that I didn't believe in, that I thought was the product of delirium, craziness, made up stories, people wanting attention, I saw the object at the height of approximately a 10-story building. The object is cylindrical. Carvalho suddenly feels paralyzed by what she is seeing. It didn't have the color of stainless steel, or the color of silver, or the color of anything else. It had its own color, and it moved in elliptical movements. It was directly over my head, making elliptical movements and coming back again. According to statements from witnesses, at this exact time, the Air Force picks up a signal on the radar his men have set up on a nearby beach. As the team scrambles to focus their telescopes and cameras, the object disappears. It turned toward the bay and headed out to sea. Holanda and his team continue their surveillance on Colores. They collect over 500 photographs and 15 hours of film showing what appear to them to be bright lights high in the sky. The reports from the investigation are sent back to Comar headquarters in the nation's capital of Brasilia. 
The Air Force really delved into the investigation. They had to give some kind of an answer to the people that were having these encounters. And I'm certain that it came as a surprise that the military men from the Air Force themselves began having their own encounters, their own experiences. Thank you.